I assume that most of you are familiar with Project 2025. If you're not, it is, in short, the Heritage Foundation's blueprint for a fascist America, which they will turn over to Donald Trump if he gets elected in November. If you want to find more about it, you can go to the Heritage Foundation site and, and search for it. It's 900 pages, so there are various summaries of it online. But it is an agenda to strip away civil liberties, to take away people's rights, and to turn America into that kind of Christian fascist nation that so many in the MAGA world would like to see. Fortunately, Project 2025 is not very popular among Americans and American voters. And in the recent days, we've seen Donald Trump run from it, saying, Project 2025, what? What's that? I don't know what that is. He does know what that is. The Heritage Foundation is staffed by people who worked for Trump in the past and will go back into the administration if Trump wins. Project 2025 is the blueprint for American fascism, is the blueprint for the next Trump presidency. And that is why, as critical as I've been of Joe Biden in recent days, and as much as I believe he's not the strongest candidate, whether the nominee is Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Gretchen Whitner, a stuffed animal, a fence post, a used baseball bat, a randomly chosen American off the street, it's important to elect that person rather than Donald Trump.